Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look here, but I also add in a bit of a twist as well. I do apologize if you have no interest, but I do get a lot of questions on the daily about my hair color. Last night I done my regrowth and then today I'm going to tone my roots. So as you can see, this is my hair completely done, roots and toned and styled. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be taking you through how I tone my hair and I'm going to be doing this full makeup tutorial as well. If you're not interested, I do apologize, but you can just skip that part and just skip on to the makeup. Yeah guys, so if you're not interested in this wee section, I really do apologize, but yep, this is my hair. Just before I tone it, I've just done my roots, so as you can see, there's still a wee bit more warmth there. It's kind of a wee bit like custard. So this is the toner that I use. I will have it down below in the description box, or if you want to screenshot this. So I just make sure that I have an on a old t-shirt, gloves, brush, bowl, whatever. And unlike the bleach, I like to start off by toning my hair just at the hairline and doing the partings and the sections first. So then here I'm just doing my parting and then I'll be sectioning it into the four sections. And I just really like to work that well into the roots first of all. So as you can see here, I've divided into four sections, two at the back and two at the front. It just kind of makes the whole process easier to do and it just makes it quicker and everything and just making sure that you're really getting every section fully coated. So once I have all the sections, like the partings and everything done, this is whenever I'm going to go through every section and do the roots as you can see and obviously as you can see at the front here, it's going a wee bit purple. That's it processing. So then once I have my regrowth done, I like to go in and just emulsify in around the roots and the regrowth area just to make sure that I haven't missed any wee bits. And then after this step, this is whenever I like to go through the ends and tone them. I always like to make sure that I do my regrowth first because they're the pieces of the hair that need to be toned the most. And then I just like to refresh in my ends. And I think I was laughing there because I was watching a tally video. I have no idea. <laughs> oh dear. And then once I have everything done, I like to give it one last emulsify in round and I usually leave it on for about 45 minutes and then I wash it off and that is me. So guys, that is my hair done. I just went and changed because I'm going to start filming now. I actually have a lot of PR like sitting down here that I have recently been sent. I was sent like a big box of goodies from Look Fantastic the other day. And I was sent the new Smashbox foundation. This is one here. I got a Morphe satin spray. I got the Benefit Cheek Leader bronzing palette. I got some skincare products, less highlight, and I got the Bar AM um, concealer. I've heard so many good things about this. And also the foundation. I got a slick blush. <laughs> that looks really, really beautiful. And last but not least, I got the Morphe and Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. Um, if I'm being honest, this isn't really a palette I would buy myself with my own coin, but sure, what the hell. It actually does look very, very nice in person though. He done such a good job with this. It's absolutely stunning. So, well done, Jeffrey. Should we use this today? I wasn't going to, but shall we? Yeah. So I was also sent these brushes last week and these are the Buff and Blend brushes. So we have a set of face brushes and we also have a set of eye brushes so I'm gonna be using these today as well I think I should put on like an overall or something because I do not know what it is but see these like underarm vaginas that I have I d no <sighs> can't be dealing with that <laughs> and I've also prepped my skin as well I was using the <laughs> bear with me on this pumpkin yule 
moisture serum. Um, I did talk about this in a previous video whenever I was doing the Korean skincare with Yes Style and I absolutely love this. As you can see I have the toner and then I also have like a nutri nutrition cream. It's just like a daily moisturiser but I have been loving this a lot recently and I've actually been loving it that much that I haven't actually been using it within my skincare routine but I've actually just been introducing it to my makeup routine as like a base for my makeup. I'm not really a big fan of primers. Well, let's reverse that. I love primers. I buy a lot of primers, but do I feel or find that they do anything to my skin? No. I just personally think that if your skin is well hydrated, that's the best primer you can have. As I mentioned there, this is the brand new Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. The shade I have here is 1.2. I'm just going to see if this is going to match me. It probably won't but what's new? I do apologise about that but I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm going to give this just a couple of pumps just on a foundation brush. I think that's just all we'll need there. I'm not wanting to go too dark with my foundation today anyway. I've literally just coloured my hair and obviously if you're blonde, if you know, you know. You're trying to keep makeup away from your hairline so that it doesn't look absolutely disgusting. Oh lord. Obviously as you can see I don't like to blend up right to my roots but just whenever I completely blend out my foundation and there's very very little left on my brush but there's still a wee bit of excess product that's whenever I will go in and I will just buff out the edges but I won't actually buff it like into my hairline I'll kind of like blend down the way so we'll kind of just like buff it away from the hairline but as you can see it still just looks blended in. I'm really looking forward to using this concealer. This is the Bar AM All Night Long Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Milk. I have heard a lot of good things about this concealer. Woo! <laughs> as you know, I like to use my Beauty Blender dry but it's moist today. I have recently been using my BA blender, not wet, but damp because I've been cleaning it more often. I swear to God, I am honestly a dirty bitch. Oh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. So yeah, I've been cleaning it. <laughs> and obviously because I have this wee, this wee case, I just clean it and then I put it back in that. And for some reason like that case keeps it a wee bit moist. Obviously, because it's not out in the air and it's not drying as quick. And that's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> I'm not going to like put myself in the deep end and be like, oh yeah, I love a damp sponge now because my heart lies with a dry beauty sponge. I'm going to go with a wee bit more of that concealer. I love that. Oh my God. Oh, come on. That is the most beautiful coverage. It does look quite light whenever you actually apply it first off. But once you start to blend in, it still keeps its brightness. But it just seems to blend in so seamlessly. It blends out absolutely fab. It's such good coverage. What is this situation? I'm just going to lightly set here quickly before I go on and back. going to use just my usual Pineland powder. Then to bake, I'm just going to be using the I Heart Revolution Coconut Scented Baking Powder. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Cocaine whore goes crazy. Funny enough, I actually prefer this powder more than I prefer the Fenty Beauty Powder. I don't know what it is with that powder. I must actually use it again for like the third time. I've only used it twice. And those two times I've just been meh. I personally don't think you should feel meh over a Fenty powder. Before I go on and highlight I'm going to be using the Primer, primer Water which just so happens to be in this. <laughs> but then for highlights today I'm going to be using two. You know me, you know the drill by this stage. So I was sent the Lottie London Imogen Nation Ultra Glow Loose Highlight. I love Imogen! <laughs> I'm going to be using this highlight first of all before I go in with my lightest highlight. I just like to use like a slightly darker highlight first of all. Just as like an all over base as you will. 
It's not as, as intense as most loose highlights I have, like the Inglot highlights, the Kylie highlights. I have one from MUA which is blinding. It is absolutely beautiful. I've had it for years and I can't bring myself to bin it. It's a beautiful highlight if you're one that doesn't want a beaming glow to the skin. But if you're just wanting like a healthy glow to the skin and just like a sheen, not like a really, really intense or official looking highlight, this is really nice. But because it's me and I am that bitch, I camera just tipped over. <laughs> you seen my ceiling. <laughs> they just like it. <laughs> so I'm next I'm just gonna go on for the Benefit Cheek Leader Mini Bronze Squad Palette. So yeah I'm really really excited to try this because it has cookie in it. We all know, we've all heard, we all watched Jaclyn Hill or do we? This is a really really nice highlight and I did swatch it on myself numerous times but swatched it is the yellow fall. <laughs> so, so far so good. It's quite a nice highlight. It's no Flexitarian. <laughs> Flexitarian has honestly, see that highlight? It has honestly ruined me. Damn you Colourpop. Okay, so we could just use the bronzer in this palette too. Will we just use the bronzer? No, screw it. I don't want to. I am not the biggest fan of Hula bronzer. I don't know why. Absolutely fantastic shade to like contour the nose and to deepen up the eyelid if you're going for like a natural glam type of look and you're just wanting to put one shade in the eye socket just to add a wee bit of depth and just to contour the eyes. Perfect. But for a bronzer on myself, I don't know. For bronzer today, I'm just going to use this wee one from Poundland. You honestly it can't go wrong. Absolutely, I love this bronzer and the notorious brush that smells of an actual gooch. It doesn't smell that bad today, actually. We'll just use it anyway. <laughs> I just realised I forgot to put blush on. I do really do want to try this sleek makeup blush, and this is in the shade Life's a Peach. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's actually very very orange in person. I would personally prefer it if it was a wee bit more toned down and a wee bit more peach toned whereas personally I just kind of find it's more of like a tangerine orange. That's just me. Um, I also do think that it's actually coming off different in person than it is on camera. It's far more deeper on camera. It's even as if it's got just like a wee punch of red to it. Therefore I do think this blush would be absolutely perfect for those of you out there that have a really really dark or deep skin tone. And I'm not talking about yous that feck tan, I'm talking about those girls that have a beautiful natural dark skin tone. Try this. Ooh. Do you know I like it already and do you know why? Because it isn't pigmented. What? I do not like a blush that is overly, overly pigmented. I do not like going donk, donk, ah! I love building my blushes up because you can be as light handed and as heavy handed as you want and it's the same with bronzers as well. I like to be able to have the freedom to actually build up to whatever intensity I want to. People were actually saying that I should be trying to put my highlight, no not my highlight, my blush and my bronzer up a wee bit higher and I actually have noticed that I do that. I don't know why, I always seem to bring my stuff down here. Um, so like, do you guys think I should be like bringing it like up this way like towards my temple or like I don't know <laughs> I don't know I feel like I'm trying to like teach you guys things but then it's also really nice that you are leaving me comments being like you should try this <laughs> so I'll try and bring it up a wee bit higher oh how beautiful is that blusher though oh my god <laughs> sorry guys and then back into the bronzer okay so we'll try and bring this up a wee bit higher um do that. Okay, so usually I would put my bronzer about here, but I'm gonna try and put it up a wee bit here. But seriously, like, look how beautiful this bronzer blends out. It blends out absolutely gorgeous. Like, f for being a Poundland bronzer. <laughs> this is what happens whenever you listen to music and do your makeup. God bless music. 
these were the brushes I had used and did I mention at the start of the video these are the buff and blend brushes these are Irish owned so you obviously have to support your Brits um so this is an Irish owned brand they had contacted me and they just sent me out these blending brushes and obviously face brushes as well I kind of find that these basically done the blending for me this was the very first time I have actually done like a really smoked out I like this and these really did help me out so I will have the link and everything down below and they were kind enough to give me a discount code which is also down below so it's for 20% off which is really really good. The first palette that I started with was the Rude Cosmetics Roar and 20s palette. This shade here. And first off just going to start packing it in the crease and doing the crease shape first of all. So I'm not going in and blending just yet, I'm just going to, as I was saying, pack on this shade just as heavy as I can, just so that it's really, really pigmented, just in that circle round its shape. And then because this is quite a big bummed brush, I'm going to kind of wiggle just to get that into the inner corner. I'm also going to go into that same shade from the Rude Cosmetics palette as if I was creating a wing. Just flicked out. So keeping the pressure here and then as soon as you get halfway just lift the pressure of the brush. Just in that swiping motions, taking a wee bit more, tap off the excess and then I just joined that up. I'm going to take another brush from the Buff and Blend collection and this is the BB22 brush. Also going to go into that shade from the Rude Cosmetics palette and I'm going to be using this brush because it's a slightly smaller brush to start blending at those edges. I just took the tiniest bit of product and tapped off the excess because I'm not wanting too much pigment but just enough that it's going to be able to blend out that line. Because I'm doing this outer corner here, I'm just going to drag it down along the lower lash line. And then from the lower lash line, I'm going to blend it. Does anybody know when the Christmas markets open in Belfast? Please let me know! I think it's about time I actually went to them. I've only been to them once in my life. <laughs> And it was an absolute nightmare. There was far too many people. I went into the beer tin. There was far too many people. I had to stand, God forbid. I freak out whenever there's like so many people, but I just think that they're so nice. I love the Christmas markets. My sister lives in Manchester and apparently the Christmas markets in Manchester are absolutely gorgeous. So I would love for me and Kyle to go over to Manchester some Christmas like before Christmas and I could do some Christmas shopping and go to the Christmas markets and like meet up with her and everything. It would just be so nice. I freshly shaved my eyebrows today and I find that whenever I have freshly shaved eyebrows, my shadows seem to blend, like especially around here, like a dream. Honestly, you need to start shaving your eyebrows. Just don't really, please do not take my advice. I know on my eyebrow tutorial, I had people ask me like, do you advise me to start shaving off my eyebrows? Girl, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to be 75 years old and still having to draw my eyebrows on. Do not make that mistake. So as you can see, I'm just blending that up to the brow bone. And I went into the Jeffree Star palette and I took this dark brown shade here, just in the very bottom row beside the black. So on the exact same brush, tuck that right into that crease. So this is just going to really deepen up that green shade and just deepen up that crease. So I'm just going to blend as I'm going along here. Screw it. <laughs> we ain't got time for that shit. And then into the inner corner as well. I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach grumble and the only thing I've had to eat today is two buns and a glass of Diet Coke. Who the frig buys Diet Coke? Like if you're gonna drink fizzy at least make it full fat. If you're gonna be naughty be bloody naughty. I'm actually gonna go with that first brush again 
this will kind of help with that blend. Obviously, whenever you are blending out shades, like you will notice yourself if there's like a wee area that needs a wee bit more blending or a wee bit more attention. And if you are struggling with a blend, go in with the previous brush that you were using, go in with the previous shade you were using, go in with a wee bit more of the shade that you're struggling to blend out. You know, like just work with it. But sure as hell, don't be scared. Makeup can sense your fear. I'm also gonna take this dark brown shade just out as well. Whenever there is barely anything that left on that brush, obviously as you can see it is a wee bit dirty from the shadows I was using. So there's going to be the tiniest wee bit of excess on it. I'm going to start flicking that out. Just going out and in. And obviously if I'm going over these shadows, that's going to be blending and taking some of the shadow out as well with it. I'm next up just going to go into the Wet and Beck shade from the Jeffree Star palette and I'm just going to write that inner part of the eye and I'm just going to blend that up into the front of the brow because I didn't think that it was going bright enough for me I went into the Alexis Stung palette and I'm just going to go off this yellow shade just on that outer edge just for that wee bit of copper Stenson! I take this a mixture between these two shades, blending this shade into the lower part. I'm actually going to zoom these in quite a bit so you can really see what I'm doing and I do apologise if you're watching me on a TV. And I'm just literally swiping just back and forth. And next up, just going to go in with the I'm next up, just, I'm next, <laughs> I'm next, I'm next, now watching this you would think that we put it on but we really don't, until you're in front of a camera you stutter like a mofo. I'm just going to take the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, so this is like a holographic highlight palette. So I'm going to go in with the green emerald shade. I'm going to take in this on a wee pencil brush. This is the BB02 brush and I'm just going to pop this on my brow bone and it just makes, look at that, <laughs> it just makes the eye look pop. I honestly think I'm going to be doing this now with every single tutorial since Friday because that was the first time I've ever done this, like put a colourful highlight on a brow bone and with the pink it looked absolutely stunning. I just kind of find that it just brought the entire look together. So it just literally just keep that just right at the brow bone. And then I'm also just gonna hit that inner corner. Going on with the Root Cosmetics palette again and taking this shade here and I'm gonna bring it right into the inner corner. This is the brush that we use the yellow with and I'm going to go in with this tiny wee smidgen of yellow. I just want to slightly blend it with the outer corner because that's a lot of yellow. So just like a wee hint of yellow underneath there. So now for the exciting part. Taking the Rude Cosmetics palette again and I'm going to go in with this shade here. This is in the shade on the Ritz. I first off took it dry because I wanted to see how it performed dry and it performed amazing. Especially with it being over these matte shades. Oh my god. I pounced that just all over the lid. And then just slightly blend that in the crease. Going to use the Primark Priming Water. Is anybody else like this? Like, I absolutely begrudge using my really expensive facial sprays or setting sprays to like spritz down a brush for a pigment or an eyeshadow. I hate it. That's actually the reason why I actually bought this. And then I went in with this shade here. I'm going to focus this just right in that center, just right in the ball of the eye. 
And first off, it's just going to be using the same lashes that I was using the other day. I'm really loving these lashes at the minute, clearly. And these are the Balaji lashes in the style lip bombshell. The discount code down below. <laughs> I think I'm going to change up my lip liner today and use one from Revlon instead of my Primark Toffee lip liner. I think, yeah, we're going to do a, a nude today. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Honey. Oh, I love it. So I'm going to add a gloss. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lager in the shade Tease. I'm just wondering how my eyelids are going to look after this because I know that on Friday, obviously with it being pink, oh my god, <laughs> I had serious pink eye. I had pink eye for days. Okay yeah, guys, so I am now just going to go and style my hair. Oh! Well, call me Karn and ask me if I need to speak to your manager. Holy fuck. 26 or 46. Okay guys, so this is Z hair. But yeah guys, so this completes this makeup tutorial. Hope you all enjoyed and I do hope that you enjoyed and didn't mind the wee clip at the start where I did show you how I toned my hair and what I used and everything. The one product I am loving the most in this tutorial today is that concealer. I am so shocked with how fab that concealer is. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely going to go out and buy the contour shades. Oh there it is there. So it's this one here, it's the all night long Bar AM full coverage concealer. I used the shade Milk. Other than that, everything was absolutely perfect. Really like the Jeffree Star Morphe palette, even though I didn't dabble into far too many shades. I know I definitely will in the future because as you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful palette. So just before I go, I just thought I would give you a bit of a close up of all of the makeup. My skin looks absolutely fab, although can you see this? I'm really needing to shave my face. I might do that tonight, although I've been waiting until I get rid of some of these breakouts because I just don't really like, um, like shaving or doing anything like that over breakouts because I just don't like to touch them at all. Um, the concealer is absolutely beautiful and the eyes, I am so in love. Uh, I'm absolutely loving the shades, like that's what I mean, like say green shades and shadows and tones are absolutely beautiful. I love them so, so much. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. They will all be down below as well as my Depop, which I have recently added new items to makeup may I add um so yeah other than that again thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video